Are you able to recognize when your dog is stressed and anxious? Do you understand the difference between stress and anxiety? And would you like to know one of the fastest ways to reduce this in your dog? In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between stress and anxiety to help you to better understand your dog and show you how aromatherapy can help. The way a dog behaves depends on three factors. One, its genetic predisposition. Two, learning from previous experiences. And three, the particular environment he is in at the time. None of these factors are in isolation, so all need to be taken into consideration. Understanding stress and anxiety is important so we know how to help our dogs. Hi, I'm Jitka, the founder of Vitacanis. And this is Adele, one of my five mischievous terriers. Actually, she is really easygoing and calm and I think the only one who will sit still on my lap. At Vitacanis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel to get more useful tips and tricks. We are all talking about stress and stressing about stress, but what actually is stress? Stress is defined as a negative differential between a series of demands and the ability to cope with them. Simply said, if uh, we or our dog are put out of our comfort zone, stress will appear quickly. But the good news is, not all stress is bad. Some stress is necessary for personal growth and a development of successful coping tactics. Uh, stress is a response to a specific stressor and for a dog it could be like a car journey or visit to the vet, dog rumors, fireworks, loud noise and typically stress goes when the stressor disappears. Stressed dogs, like stressed people, may have dilated pupils, they may open their eyes really wide and show more of the, the sclera than usual, giving them the startled appearance. Also the ears that are usually relaxed or alert are pinned back against the head. Uh, there are also changes in dog's posture like uh, dog is panting or shivering, lifting a paw or pacing, lip licking, looking away and even barking or growling. So these are all signs that something is stressing out your dog. However, when it comes to anxiety, there is no identifiable root and sometimes we have to dig really deep to find the cause, which is unfortunately not always successful. It tends to stick around for longer than stress and it's more difficult to treat. It's uncomfortable inner feeling of fear, worry, nervousness or unease about something with uncertain outcome. We all experience anxiety at some point in our lives um, and it's a uh, normal human reaction to some stress, disaster or bad luck. However, some people are constantly anxious to the point where it's abnormal and interferes with their life. This is also true of our dogs. We might not know the root cause for the anxiety, but we can see how they play their anxiety out and it could be manifested in any of these ways. Barking and howling when left alone, separation anxiety, panting and pacing, shivering, escaping the yard, um, destroying furniture, self-harm, excessive licking and chewing, uh, not eating, urinating frequently, and a general inability to settle. Over the years, two products have proven to be very helpful when it comes to stress and anxiety. Calming floral spray helps in coping with stress in dogs a natural way. So let's use this example. You want your puppy to get used to the car. 
If you just put a puppy in a crate or on the back seat, shut the door and then drive for half an hour, your puppy will more likely cry and drool, shake, even get sick, or maybe even pee and poo. Don't you think there is too many demands? Too much pressure on the puppy, too much noise, motion perhaps? A bit much, isn't it? So after an experience like this, how would your puppy feel when approaching the car for the next time? Stressed, right? When it comes to anxiety, I've specifically designed the Comfort Blend to help dogs who are suffering with anxiety, like separation anxiety, but also it helps dogs, uh, grieving dogs and senior dogs with canine cognitive dysfunction, also known as doggy dementia. The essential oils in the Comfort Blend are deeply calming, have stabilizing effect on the nervous system and have the ability to slow down a rapid uh, heartbeat and breathing. There are symptoms associated with anxiety. Both these aromatherapeutic blends have natural calming and balancing qualities and provide ultimate relaxation for dogs who are suffering with stress or anxiety. They are both so helpful during the fireworks season when many dogs are experiencing trauma with the loud bangs and whizzes. So here is the bonus tip. The blends we make are not only good for creating a calm and relaxed dog, but you can use the calming floral spray on any of your large animals like horses or donkeys as they may get stressed this time of the year as well. And spray yourself too to stay calm and relax. I hope you have found some useful tips in this video and you are feeling less stressed yourself. Please take the time to subscribe. Each subscriber is a great support to us sharing the message of how to care for our dogs the natural way. See you in my next video and remember, stay calm <laughs> and keep aromatherapy in.